Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time visiting. So today I was gonna go to Costco. It's around 9 a.m. and apparently Costco doesn't open at um, at 9, they open at 10. So I decided to come to Lowe's and come and stare at the beautiful plants. I do have a list of things I have to get as far as things for my house, but why not come and look at all the beautiful plants here? I just wanted to bring you guys along to show you. Oh my God, look at this. <gasps> Look at these beautiful succulents. These are humongous. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen succulents this big at any store in a long time. Wow, look at this one. And I know sometimes some of you guys follow me for a long for a long time. If you guys are getting any succulents, try to find succulents that have pups. That way you're getting more than one succulent. You can just split them when you get home and enjoy <laughs> well you guys already know me very very well so you guys already know what part of this um, garden center i'm going to be looking at and if you guys can guess leave it in the comments down below before i actually get there i'm gonna go the long way while you guys guess i wonder if any of you guys are gonna guess where i'm going what part of the garden am I looking for? <laughs> Lily, do you know what part of the garden I'm looking for? Um. <laughs> no? Well. How about the fruit tree? The, where the fruit trees are at. That's my favorite part of the garden. Oh, this is a good, this is a, um, difficult one. That's definitely a, what kind of tree is that? Can you tell by the leaves? I'm trying to teach her how to, how to tell what trees are what from the leaves. So I've been testing her at home. I showed her how, what the, what the little quad tree is, right? This is a fig tree. Look at the huge leaves. You can tell by the leaves that this is a fig tree. Look, it has baby, baby figs. <gasps> Look at those babies. Don't pull them out. They're still babies. Oh, they have those are nice fig trees. Hmm. Mama, what else do they Mama, have? Are you get a oh yeah, you want to get a snack? Yeah. They have olive trees. Oh, they even have nopales, cactus. Careful with those, those are pokey. And see, oh, I wish that a nursery was nearby because nurseries have so, oh, so much to choose from. Oh, it's a, I thought this was a Mexican white guava. It's actually the um, Tropic Pink Guava, which is the guava I already have. Lowe's carries them. In fact, I think I got mine from Lowe's a long time ago. <gasps> this one has a baby guava. Look at that. You see that? What kind of guava is this? Oh, God, please don't tell me. It's the one I want. I might walk out of here with the guava tree. Guava Blanco Tropical. Hmm, that sounds like it. white waba i think it is oh my god i might have to take this with me lily what do you think <laughs> no. all right well we're gonna head inside to look for a snack that was pretty much all there was for fruit trees uh, i'm gonna hit this way and see what else we're gonna go look for some snacks because costco was closed we thought it would be open by nine and it wasn't so yeah anyways guys i hope you guys are having a great day i hope that you guys are getting a lot done um i'm trying to make my day productive and trying to get as many things as i can from my to-do list i have to go to costco i have to go to um I do have to go inside Lowe's and buy a few things that I need. And what else? I have to go to the gym. It's a must do for me. Oh my God, I didn't know Lowe's carry this. Hey guys, if you guys have any fruit trees, this is one of the products that I use to feed my, um, my trees, whether they're in the ground or they're in a container. I feed them this like every third month during the growing season. So that's a good tip. I hope that you guys find it <laughs> all right guys you guys have a blessed day i'll see you guys in the next one say bye lily
<laughs> bye hey guys i know if uh, i don't know if you guys seen my previous video about all the sitting space in the garden lily found this amazing sectional which oh go ahead tell them i found it so me and my mom were sitting down in, and i also come with the set yeah so guys she showed me the prize and i was blown away i couldn't believe that this beautiful sectional was under three six hundred dollars it's so pretty just wanted to show you guys these are amazing additions to any garden so Lowe's has some pretty furniture I just wanted to add that to the video um, you guys know that I absolutely love sitting space and this is actually something I would like in my courtyard I really like this one too hmm comes with a little table you can pull this out and sit and enjoy yourself put your feet up hmm, I like this guys Oh, that's the cushion that goes on there. Sit on it. I want to see how you look in it. Is it comfortable? Oh, I think that cushion's meant for... Go ahead, sit on it. For what? To put it on the seat. All right. Oh, there's more over here. Let's go look. Look at this one. That one has a little rocking chair. You know what I am in the uh, market for? I want to get a nice carpet that's uh, weather durable. If you guys know of anywhere, I mean, obviously Lowe's is one of the main ones, but I need something that's rain resistant, something that's more like, not cloth, more like plastic material so I, I can um, stay out there. I, I don't have a cover in my patio where it protects it from the rain, so it's it's bound to get wet and I want something that's not gonna get mold under or oh my god look at this little table I like that I like that wow they have a lot over here I usually go to Home Depot because it's closer to me but since I'm on the other side of town where um, Home Depot um, Costco's at I decided to come here and as you guys can see they have a great selection to choose from Let's go look at this one. Look at that. Ooh, I like that. All right, guys. Let's continue to look. I really need to go get what I came here for. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I had to come back to look at the fruit trees one more time. Now that Lily has a little snack and she's a little bit more content. <laughs> I and, realized... And my mom liked them. Yeah. And the very young. So, guys, I've never really seen any pomegranates that are shaped as a tree. It has a long trunk and the growth is right above. This is unique. If you guys have a large landscape, this is actually a very nice tree to add to your landscape. Um, it's rare when you find trees like this in the nurseries. <clears throat> as you guys can see, it's pretty tall. No no branches up until the top which I happen to like I really like that but unfortunately I already have two pomegranate trees so I definitely cannot add another one but uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys in case you guys are looking into getting a pomegranate you do have two choices you can get a tree long stock and, and the branches will be at the top I mean yeah the branches and fruiting or you can get one that's like a shrub that's just like a big shrub and it grows humongous and big which is i have both of my um, pomegranates are shrubs so just wanted to share that with you guys guys um this um i love the wava leaves but they do have a white wava and i'm contemplating on taking it however i'm looking at the tree and it looks very teeny I like to get trees that have a thicker trunk, meaning that they've been uh, a little bit longer in the container and they've been a little bit more established because when I transplant it into another container, they don't go into a big shock like they do when they're this little. If I were to get this, I would probably leave it in this container for another year and not transplant it till the next year until it gets a good root system. Let me see if I can see. I cannot see any roots whatsoever and by the size of this tree I imagine that this tree has root balls probably up to here 
anyways just another tip um, just my feedback on how I shop for fruit trees here's another one that has some damage the trunk is tiny as well whoops and yeah that's that's definitely not a tree that I would bring home and they all seem to be that way when I bought my pink guava it was twice that size and I actually bought it in the winter so it was the leftover trees and I got it on sale and the trunk was a lot thicker Anyways, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm not sure <laughs> this is going to be my last goodbye. But for now, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. All right, guys. I'm happy to announce that I did not find any plants to purchase today. So it was just a wonderful walkthrough. I did get the things that I needed. And um, I was looking for a CC plan. <coughs> Excuse me. For a CC plan. For a DIY I'm doing in my house and they had a tiny little CC plant for $20 <laughs> and I said no uh, I'm gonna go to the swap me in the weekend and I get them for six dollars so that's all guys I wanted to report that to you guys I hope you guys have a blessed day and this time I am gonna say goodbye and mean it you guys have a blessed day bye, -bye.